beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed listen to me Worship is a very deep sign of humility. It's not just a sign that you love God or you honor God. It's a recognition. You worship God with understanding that, Lord, you can do without me. It is within your power to take me out of your program. But why you keep me, I don't understand. There's a song I want you to sing. That message you way song. Who will sing that song for me? Jesus, you love me. You know the song I'm talking about? Song. I, I want to hear that song. Let's just sing that song and then we'll sit down. Your love is mine.
tell you something. Listen to me. The higher you rise in God and in life, you will see how much God does not need you. The higher you rise, you will learn that it is a privilege to be part of God's program. I am being aware every day that God can do without me. It's, it's, not, it's not a motivation. It's the truth. I now understand why David said, what is man? What is man? If you can make a donkey speak, why should man be the one speaking for you? What is man that thou art mindful of? As you begin to see the faithfulness of God in your life, you will get to a point where you will know, I didn't pray for this. This one is not fasting. This one didn't come by study. How it came, I don't understand. And you just say, Lord, let, let, let your name be glorified. Jesus, you be lifted starting is obvious because you don't have any notable results it's easy to say it is God but a time comes when men say you are the doer and you will first say I'm not the doer but later on you will be tempted to say but come to think of it is it not my power and the might of my hand that is the foolishness that can throw a man from any height 
he took a king and turned a king into a beast that whoever can be stupid enough to roll before God you will never roll before men I tell you this that you can lose your dignity before God to say Lord I am nothing oh it's not you are not condemning yourself it's a recognition I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before help me I cast my crown said my peace I give you there are many things in the Bible that God gave man without his request one of it is his peace he said this type of peace the world cannot give it I speak peace to every heaviness peace to every worry peace to every stress in the name of Jesus I speak peace to every storm in your life I want you to know that God is alive and God is in control peace to your spirit let every heaviness let every depression give way the peace of the Lord garrisons your heart tonight in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please be seated please be seated sometimes we just get lost in worship these extended moments of worship are very very powerful because many things happen in worship i was preparing to minister a program it was a worship program and while i was meditating the lord gave me a revelation about the woman with the alabaster box and the lord told me that perfume is not the only thing you can put in an alabaster box whatever you do not want to see you can carry it and put it in that box and take it to him you can put your pain in the box you can put your worries in the box because everything presented in that box never returns to you and so it's not only your crown that you give you can put your pain you 
can put the worries and break it before him and say Lord know what to do with it I have handed this over to you hallelujah it's a powerful thing to really be in the presence of God my prayer for us is that we continue to value his presence that we get to a point where we begin to see the relevance by every standard and from every dimension to see the relevance the profitability of dwelling in his presence hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord it's good to be back home let's get to the word i'm happy to be back it's been a very stressful month already and we bless the name of the lord for the privilege to take his life and his word around the nations let the name of the lord be glorified in jesus name we thank god for the remarkable things to you be all the glory in the name of jesus the lord put what i'm about to teach you in my heart since last month I was just waiting to allow the set time to just discuss it with us. Everyone's, and again, the Spirit of the Lord, Pastor Shago, it's good to see you again. God bless you. Thank you. Everyone's, and again, the Lord would come to check our level of spiritual progress. You see, believers are likened to a house that is being built. The Bible says we all as living stones that we are being built into a spiritual house and it is the responsibility of the Holy Spirit to check and meticulously vet the construction to make sure not only that the house is built well but that everything that should be captured inside that house is well represented are we together so god would come every once and again to our lives and find out the areas where the testimony of jesus is not yet established and he will build us up this is why it is powerful to walk with the holy spirit if you really walk with the holy spirit your life will be complete and balanced if you see him building you in a dimension and you see that there is a lopsidedness you just be patient with him very soon he will come and pick up that side and you become an exceptional trophy very balanced very accurate One of the things about dominion, I've been looking at this and even in my external ministrations, I've been talking about it, that we need to understand the dominion systems of the kingdom. We need to understand, that, that's not what I'm talking about, but that if the saints, remember the Bible says that we receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and then he says by them we reign in life it is god's desire that the church enters her glorious destiny experientially and that will only happen when dominion is established are we together now i told you that it is against the law of the spirit for a man to glorify himself so you will lift another who brings you glory you don't glorify yourself in the spirit so it is the son that brings glory to the father and then the church the ecclesia in partnership with the holy spirit glorifies the son but then how is the church now glorified are we together now it is in subjecting principalities and powers and the elements of this system bringing them to the obedience of christ that is how the glory of the church the bride is seen so jesus glorifies the father the church in partnership with the holy spirit glorifies the son then the dominion of the church within this sphere of god's kingdom is how the church is glorified are we together now so it matters to god that the church 
that we not only continue to learn and grow and fall down and stand up but that we sustain the intelligence and the empowerment two important things the intelligence and the empowerment to rise to a point where experientially the church of the lord jesus christ will not only advance in terms of communicating the gospel of the kingdom but that we get to a point where the dominion of the church is recognized across the sociological strata of human existence and we'll continue to strive to make this happen in the name of jesus and i've taught us you know different messages put together that there are systems for dominion please listen carefully there are many indices that you put together to measure dominion the ability to exert sovereign control over a territory and one of it at random in no particular order is influence i've taught us the power of influence that kingdom advance does not just happen through evangelism alone but through influence say influence i'm teaching you now say influence influence is very important and believers must be mentored and cultured to see the relevance of kingdom influence influence is the ability to cause men to buy into your values to buy into your ideologies to buy into your perspectives about god and life without using force or cruelty it's called influence are we together now that you get to a point where you can cause a territory to value what you value to prioritize what you prioritize like ruth told naomi your god will be my god your people will be my people so you get to a point where you exert a level of pressure on people to bend and subscribe to your values and your ideologies but you do not use force you do not use cruelty you use something called inspiration influence thrives on inspiration the flawlessness of your results compelling people to see the excellency of modeling their lives after the results that they seek which they see in your life the church will never be able to do much if we ignore influence because you see in this world that we live in at every given point someone is influencing you and you are influencing another person are we together now yes if we ever frown at the decadence that we see in our society the decadence did not come by personal indoctrinations it came by using certain people who are called gatekeepers of certain mountains to demonstrate and market that value so strong that an entire territory within a short period of time can buy into that conviction are we together now yes nobody just sits down for instance and loves to be gay I'm just using as an example except that someone who is in a position that can inspire is empowered both by hell and the gatekeepers of this cosmos to market an ideology that would have been ugly if it were marketed by someone with no influence so usually the devil will find people who have um, they are inspiration worthy and then he will incorporate that flaw in their life so that they will sell that idea and we receive everything hook line and sinker because they stand in a position where they can influence our thinking the church needs to be influential remember the dream of king nebuchadnezzar that daniel interpreted daniel said i saw a stone that was not carved by human hands he was interpreting the dream of nebuchadnezzar the head of gold the chest and the breastplate of silver and all of that that were representations of many kingdoms that will come and then the feet that was mixed with clay and iron a type of many systems incorporated in one and daniel said i saw a stone that was not carved by human hands it arose and crushed that kingdom then the stone became a mountain a stone 
became a mountain a strata of influence and then he says that a kingdom was given to the saints and that that kingdom cannot be destroyed and that kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and jesus now comes to say that kingdom is called the church he says i am the builder of it the rejected stone the chief cornerstone now becomes a mountain and becomes a kingdom a collection of people and an invincible force that will crush every kingdom the bible said it the king had the dream and daniel interpreted it and it will happen in the name of jesus christ so we need influence we need a lot of it one of the other elements that we need to be able to exert dominion i'm just giving us the foundation so when we say we should walk in dominion it's not just a vague talk of authority no there are certain specifics that must be in place if the church is to dominate are we together one of it for instance is spiritual empowerment there cannot be true dominion until that individual is empowered the psalmist said i will lift up my eyes onto the hills and then he asks a question he said from whence cometh my help that means the issue of help is mandatory it's just that people outsource help from different dimensions others can outsource help from sorcery and witchcraft others can outsource help from education and um, our secular enlightenment others can outsource help from relationships and human connections and then the psalmist said for me oh, i can't speak for everybody but my help cometh from the lord the maker of the heavens and the earth are we together so it's established that nobody rises and commands dominion unassisted you must be assisted by a dimension that is beyond the three-dimensional realm so every time you see someone exerting dominion in any sphere of influence at all there is no need guessing whether that person has been assisted or not if at all you care to guess you will want to just guess the source of the assistance not that that person was assisted it is impossible to walk in dominion unassisted are we together men are helped to be great men are helped to be blessed if you ignore the spiritual assistance that we call empowerment god's token of his presence and might upon your life granting you access to possibilities that should not be affordable to you by human standards that's what it means to be empowered to be engraced with an energy with an ability that only God should have so that you command results that are not given to mere men and then the third is wealth there is no dominion without wealth it is true the wealth of the kingdom is an index that empowers the church to command dominion and when I talk of wealth, I'm not talking of just cars and houses. That's, 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 that's not wealth. That's just maybe a level of comfort. But that, that's not what we're talking about at all. We're talking of a dimension of divine supplies that can force any closed door that is shut by the economy of this world to be opened. Are we together now? These are the forces among others there are many others that must be engaged in our lives and corporately as a body 90 percent listen please 90 percent of the pursuits of men and women on earth today is an attempt to make a meaning out of their lives to make a meaning to try to put ends together so a father is rushing to get a job and you ask him sir why are you so busy and he tells you look i need to get um 
school fees for my children i need to pay rent i need to do this and that and there's a businessman running and i mean helter skelter you wake up in the morning and you see people run from morning till night and you ask them what are you looking for and some say survival some say we are making ends meet and so on and so forth and you know there's there seems to be that contention everywhere left right and center please listen very carefully you see if you follow the way of the Lord please listen to me the Bible says there is a way that seemed right unto a man it could be a way that has been established by philosophy and the pride of men I hope you know men are arrogant it's what God has had to put up with us for many decades the the pride of men in spite of our ignorance it's amazing how arrogant men are and then at the end we have to turn back and say Lord I need you how many times have people ignored God in the Bible based on whatever they think or they thought was an advantage and they were forced to return to a point where they would call upon his name and acknowledge him so when life defines a pathway for you to follow listen carefully just because a crowd is following that pathway does not mean that way is right are you listening to me now the courage to walk with God is what many people do not have because this system wields a level of pressure on you this is how it is done this is how we make money this is how we become famous this is how we do this and you know that the Holy Spirit is telling you there is a way I can route your life and destiny such that you will do much in in so short a time and have the time to lift up the name of the Lord and glorify him you see let me tell you something the system that was designed by Satan was designed by a lot of intelligence the system was so designed that you must lose certain things when you follow it one of the things you must lose is joy one of the things you must lose is peace one of the things you must lose is God one of the things you must lose is everything God gave you so you you move and take that path and check my peace is gone where did it go to and Satan says continue going and then you find out my joy is gone and then you find out my relationship with God is gone. The, 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 the progression was designed to strip you of everything divine. And to reward your giving away these valuable things, you get stipends that you call success. You call stipends the accolades of men. While they clap for you for getting A and B, you have lost the things that really matter. And after decades of moving in ignorance, you would turn back and find out you really didn't have anything. You were better off before you started following that path. Are we together now? Our world is full of very angry people. Look at the young people who are angry right now. They turn back and look at their lives. No money, no joy, no peace. You have children as if you should kill them. Are we together now because you don't know what to do with them the needs are much they bring PTA letter and you are angry you have a church you don't even know what to do it's not growing you go and copy a formula somewhere and say we must apply it this church must grow and you try it and nothing happens and you give your best and the members lash back at you and you turn and say God did you design this thing and God said I have no hand in this because Jesus said I am the way listen carefully that you shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk ye in it now but the challenge is this many believers do not have the fortitude to sit down and be correctly mentored to follow the path that will lead to life and power usually usually a combination i think of operations of darkness tampered with our pride the pride of men we hate being taught we want to show we know 
we we feel embarrassed when we are educated because it looks like it's an insult on our pedigree are we together now so usually we like suggestions but not to be taught and say look this way you are following is wrong let me tell you this i i say this with all humility i have watched people take steps and i already knew where they were going to end it's painful when you already know where a road is going and someone is still following it i have seen people take steps and make choices that i know the end of it is going to be disaster except the mercy of god intercepts somewhere in the way they are going to fail and they are going to fail woefully now this sounds like pride you see i've been saying this thing for many years i didn't just start saying it this system will never allow you serve god it's a promise i'm giving you you follow this system the world's way of doing things you will never live a meaningful life have you seen the rate at which people commit suicide someone would just hang himself and write a letter i hate life i was reading um the the online paper just today about a woman i think somewhere in nigeria who killed her husband killed the children and killed herself that's the way high blood pressure used to be sickness for old people but now you see teenagers having high blood pressure and you wonder what <laughs> excuse me what they are thinking about that's life for you and satan continues to manipulate the system to ensure number one that you never have time for god i hope you know that the number one attack of satan is your spiritual life listen to me carefully in that order when satan begins to launch an attack it doesn't matter where it comes from ultimately because if you can cut your ears away from the voice of god that's the supply of your life man shall not live by bread alone but by every word and if that word is cut away from you you have started dying even though alive every attack on your life has a way of routing to your spiritual life so the bible says we should be steadfast immovable are we together now to get to a point where you are solid that nothing will offend you that you will not find offense in god to say god i'm disappointed in you i will try another strategy i i i trusted you to do a and b in my life you have come to a point where your love for god is as solid as mount zion many people's spiritual lives have been attacked every day every time per second per second satan uses all the elements in this life poverty pain offense disappointment are we together delay all kinds of things and he keeps targeting your spiritual life and goodness is he getting at people rubbishing people so much you see everyone i'm trying to make ends meet um it's time for prayer prayer what please god is here let's 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 do this thing first and we wake up early in the morning and we sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow because that was not the formula assigned to bring us rest there remained a sabbath for the people of god but until you walk with the Holy Spirit, who is the Lord of the Sabbath, to be able to guide you and show you the systems you must access. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, men can find rest in experience. Do not allow the personal frustrations that you have faced on your journey to fulfillment and relevance make you believe that God is incapacitated. No. My life and your life can never be a perfect reflection of his capability. He doesn't bend to our standards. We must subscribe to conform to God's standard. If you are poor today, it's not a reflection of God's inability to bless. If you are not influential today, it's not a reflection of God's limitation. Are we together? If you are not anointed to a notable dimension, it's not a reflection of God's inability to reach you. There is somewhere in that equation you either do not understand or you are engaging wrongly. That's why we are here. 
to learn to be taught to be guided to see that there is a path that truly leads to death not spiritual death physical death but there is a path that leads to life is God speaking to someone already and so I just want to press on an issue with us that I think God would have me talk to us on tonight um, so that we can have the time to serve God I title it it's a very brief message my cup runneth over I want to share with you the dominion systems that God has put to help men activate the supplies of heaven I pray pray for me that God will grant me grace to finish on time because I really want us to pray I want us to spend a few minutes praying the greatest distraction I have seen in the lives of believers is this issue of our daily bread the issue of trying to make ends meet and the rate at which believers are being distracted by the worries and the cares especially as regards our needs there has to be a system to address it if not a time will come when on Sunday churches will be empty a time will come when you will organize crusades and you will find people saying look I, I have four jobs because I'm trying to make ends meet I my my child school fees has been increased to by times five and I have to make sure ends meet God please wait when I make it I can come to you and if you disturb me I'll come with a seed and sow it to you Psalm 23 Lord may this message bless your body in the name of Jesus this is how I read this scripture if the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want verse 2 he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters verse 3 he restored my soul he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake uh-huh yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod thy staff they comfort me five thou preparest a table just leave that verse this is what we are dealing with tonight thou preparest a table not a sword thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies here is the miracle thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over may that be our testimony in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God that your cup will run over transgenerationally that you will get to a point where because of you it will be that you have brought light you have brought salvation and empowerment to your loved ones i believe that the greatest attack on the body of christ will come in the area of divine supplies supplies for kingdom advance it is no news that God wants us to be able to have the level of overflow and abundance. And this is not in some carnal, um, self-centered way. No, we are talking kingdom here. Are we together? That it is the will of God, please listen very carefully, to bring us to a point by his grace where we access the supplies of heaven that can afford us the opportunity listen carefully to be able to spend our lives by spending our time serving the Lord remember the teaching that I did here on time certain things about time that we need to learn that all that you have in life is time are we together now that means whatever you give your time to you have invested part of your life to are we together now yes 
that our lives are time dependent and whatever you commit your time to is what you have given your life to and so satan knowing the value of time has manipulated a system that compels the average person to commit most of his time on mundane pursuits so that we do not have time left to serve the purposes of the kingdom and advance the gospel and lift the name of the Lord. So it's not the issue of poverty or prosperity or abundance or lack. It's a fight for time. Satan is targeting your time, not your pocket. He's using your pocket to target your time because he knows that if he can create a system around your life where God is not prioritized, he has captured you. The time of the average believer is spent worrying, is spent thinking of needs here and there. And I want to tell you categorically, it is not the will of God. You will never be able to serve the purposes of God that way. As a man of God, it's impossible to have the time to settle down and prepare a quality sermon, well researched with prayer to bless people when there are all kinds of concerns. Where will we get the fuel for the generator? Where are we going to rent the keyboard? Many people lie as if it doesn't matter. It does matter. When your landlord comes knocking at your door, you will be surprised to see how it will influence your prayer life. Are we together now? that says and have you ever been in a situation that gave you concern you lost appetite has that happened to someone that you sat down you are not sick or you are fine but there's a plate of food in front of you and you cannot eat because you are worrying you wake up in the night and you are stressed out are you not seeing that death is killing us give us psalm 112 this is god's idea of a man of a family that is a true representation of his of his abundance and his supplies it says praise ye the lord blessed is the man that feareth the lord take note one that man fears the lord number two he delighted greatly in his commands so that's the secret of that man that that man is blessed go back to verse one he is blessed because he fears the Lord and he delights greatly in his commands. Verse 2 says, His seed shall be mighty upon earth. And then he says, The generation of the upright. That means that the impact of that man transcends a generation. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Verse 3 says, Wealth and riches shall be where? Please talk to me believers that wealth and riches shall be in his house and in spite of that wealth and riches his righteousness endures now this is what you cannot get with satan if you ever get wealth and riches this way your righteousness will not endure because it will force you to dapple your hands in all kinds of things that by the time you are 10 years in that voyage you have lost so many things wealth and riches shall be in his house and in spite of it his righteousness endures the bible says that man is blessed he fears the lord and he delights greatly in his commands his seed his seed there is not just his children your seed is anything that comes out of you that his seed shall be mighty upon earth and then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed wealth and riches shall be in his house and then he says his righteousness endures forever i have taught extensively on the systems of the kingdom that are allocated to bring supplies and to help believers to come into a point where we experience the abundance that gives us the time and the convenience to serve God. Are we together now? Uh, I've said it again that most of the issue when it has to do with the supplies of the kingdom, wealth, riches, and abundance, is that number one, most people approach it from a carnal and ungodly perspective. It's, it's from a standpoint of law 
lost so the entire exegesis around the subject of wealth is coming from a heart that is already depraved it's not a heart that truly wants to honor god it's just a heart that wants to grab and get and so it's largely a marketing of lost but that's not the way of God. Number two is that there is, as I will always say, an imbalance in the communication of the precepts that leads to it. So we have preachers who communicate their ideas on what they believe is the kingdom system allocated, the economic system of the kingdom. And they give the best that they can communicate. And then you find out largely that from many of those teachings, the members don't prosper from it. It is usually the preachers that prosper from it because the members appreciate the preachers for teaching them. But they go back and since they themselves don't have congregations to appreciate them, there is nothing for them to return home with. And they are angry and frustrated and then they now begin to write all kinds of devilish things about the gospel and about men and women of God. And then we have on the other side entrepreneurs and business people and all kinds of people who bring all kinds of ideas about wealth and that is wonderful and well-meaning but some of these things are a mix of of Scientology and some of it is even a mix of all kinds of ancient religions and things that reduce God to become energy and just reduces God to become a force just like many other forces so by the time you dwell and explore those things your conclusion about God would just be that God is some kind of sovereign energy in the cosmos who can do something to your brain and so on and so forth so there is largely an imbalance my question tonight is what is truly the way to accessing the supplies of heaven is God so wicked my brothers and my sisters that he will leave us in the dark and watch us move in pain and in the financial squalor that continues to press people down to a point where there is not enough even for our children it says if you been evil know how to give good gifts to your children if you been evil in the depravity of your heart yet you can create space for compassion to be able to look at your child and bless your child let me give you a guarantee i promise you in the name of the lord jesus christ if you listen to me you will never never be poor if you listen to me you will never be small it's a guarantee i give you in the name of the lord forgive me if i sound arrogant but it's true just pay attention to this thing don't 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 tamper with the equation when you don't have results get results first then you can say oh you are wrong i discovered another route this teaching is a symbol of god's mercy because there is a tsunami coming it has started it's sweeping everywhere and everything close to it and it's unfortunate that there are many believers that might be victims of this that we will never get to a point where we begin to eat our children do you know women eat their children in the bible to eat your children now doesn't mean to eat your child physically that you can mortgage the future and the destiny of your child so that you satisfy your hunger of today you have eaten your child many of our parents ate our destinies let me tell you the truth they ate our destinies in selfishness there are many people today in marriages they should not be but the parents say you must enter so that we will eat that's eating your child there are many people who should not be involved in certain things at all there are many pastors who should be in the field serving the lord they are somewhere roaming around forcing supplies to come from where it's not found i will never serve satan to feed my stomach i will never serve babylon 
to feed my stomach it's a vow that you must make that my entire life will be spent serving the purposes of the kingdom i will never serve the lord and quote scriptures and fall down under the anointing only to stand up and become a victim of a system that will define for me how much time and space i give god I'm not going to be talking so much about the spiritual principles we understand. I just want to pick one of the subjects that the Lord put in my heart and drum it into us. And then we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Increase in the kingdom increase in the kingdom increase in this kingdom is a product of value write it down increase in the kingdom the greatest gift that can happen to a man is to be shown the systems and the ways that construct your life to become valuable please listen very carefully the law of value your value defines your degree of usefulness please write it down your value defines your degree of usefulness the degree to which you are needed within a civilization within a sociological context the degree of your usefulness not just your uniqueness not just your skill you can have skill that is not useful to the context of a civilization the degree of your usefulness is what we call your value and god so designed that the supplies of heaven are routed listen carefully the supplies of heaven are routed through the medium of value that when God wants a believer and one who is a citizen in the kingdom to rise to a point where you begin to access the riches and the blessings of heaven he does not just favor you as it were with giving you money but he brings you to a pedestal in life where it becomes impossible to ignore you are we together now there are many ways he achieves that but that the gateway into accessing the supplies of heaven experientially is becoming valuable now but most people most of the teachings on value does not capture the full import of what makes it rewardable it's not enough to know that your value is a measure of your usefulness just because you have something that is useful to me does not mean you will be rewarded for it there are many people carrying useful things but are not rewarded for it they are valuable yet they are not rewarded is that true so what is the system that translates your value to compel the environment that you live in to come gentiles coming to your light and then they are kings to the brightness of your rising get this tonight and you will thank me tomorrow i've taught you here that your value decides who pursues you it's true your value decides who pursues you you know you are valuable by the extent of demand that is placed on your grace, on your skill, on whatever it is that you represent. Now, most believers will frown at what I'm saying. That's why they are poor. That's why they struggle. We pray and that's very important. We study the word. We are faithful in church. But we do not understand the systems allocated to bring us out of this qualo of hardship many of the things we try to address are symptoms of one central deficiency value 
in the area where value plays nothing will cover for it are we together now so your value is a reflection of the extent of your usefulness and i've taught you also that who pursues you determines the magnitude of your reward it is not just because people are pursuing you the quality of people pursuing you is also the quality of the reward that accrues to you if a president needs you you would be rewarded at the level and at the statue of a president is that true yes how can i call on your name and end up in shame no way no way how can i bow down before you and then bow down before a man no way no way because Ever present help in time of need. You are my God. Do you know that when you become valuable, you will command dominion in a way and manner that will not only bring God glory, it will bring glory to you, it will bring glory to your family, you will bring beauty and glory out of your life when you become valuable pegged at a level where your usefulness cannot be ignored pegged at a level where every other factor to downplay your usefulness becomes inconsequential that you rise to a point where not gender not geographic limitations cultural barriers etc that none of these things sustain the ability to be reason enough for men to ignore you that's value value is not that you have something that is is being biased by loyalty so i have something that only my tribes people patronize and they're only doing that just because they had that my name reflects that now they, oh you are from this state and okay let's come and buy this no when you sustain an ability and you peg yourself at a pedestal in life where regardless of what else is not important in your life people ignore it because of the necessity of what you carry you are valuable it was said about Jesus all men seek for you not some not Yoruba people seeking for a Yoruba man not Igbo people seeking for a Igbo man not northern people seeking for a northern man this is largely what we call value in our world so if I have value now I just quickly go and look for my people and say I'm the son of the soil your boy has come with this if you leave me like that and so we have a crowd of people it is it's largely just ethnocultural but that God puts something in your life my brothers and my sisters that will cause all men regardless of value nobody will ever ask you where you come from they don't care whether you are male or female nobody cares whether this water was made by a male hand or a female hand nobody cares whether once you are tested to the point of death you say let me have that water whether it was made by a child or an adult the moment people create certain factors to demean you you are not valuable enough if any other excuse is worthy enough to frustrate you then you are not valuable if you listen to what i am telling you your children will bless you tomorrow years ago the holy spirit would tell me pay attention and let me make you valuable i didn't understand the extent of what he was saying oh today i'm grateful there is no magic that is going to happen in your finances let me repeat there is no magic that is going to happen in your finances if you do not trust god 
to take you to a point where you become extremely valuable i give you a guarantee in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god as far as accessing supplies by yourself here on earth is concerned you will live a frustrated life it's a matter of time and i'm not talking of business here or a job here <clears throat> leave all those things first you see it is your value that gives life to those things they don't give life to you many have not been taught that part of the ministry of the holy spirit in our lives is not just to help us know god it's not just to help us walk in character the holy ghost upgrades men he came into our life to build us to a point where we become valuable the bible says jesus increased in wisdom listen carefully jesus increased in stature jesus increased in favor with god and with men the holy ghost does not come into the lives of people and then reduces them to a point where the only thing useful about them is their knowledge of God no sir is God speaking to us tonight value when your world comes to you they watch to see what it is that you have in your hands that you are going to exchange for the reward they have you are valuable when no amount becomes regrettable to commit to you when no amount becomes that means nobody would drop something and turn back and say i was stupid for dropping one million i just came i know pastor alpha is anointed but ah, ah, one million what entered me no when nothing in this world becomes worthy enough to reward what you carry you are valuable with beyond imagination and this is where god is taking us to because let me tell you if you have that even if you are inside a hole i guarantee you you will not beg for bread i hope god is speaking to you you see i love you that's why i'm telling you this the devil will tell you don't mind him then make sure you don't have children make sure that you 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 are not the one who will be taking care of your relatives do you know how many well-meaning believers who love god are still asking god questions still today lord this is unfair my father was a pastor my mother was a pastor i'm a preacher i love you with all my heart what is all this one that i'm seeing now 90 percent of the discussion in homes is money finance madam what are you bringing you are hiding money from me the man says you are, you are you know and all kinds of things and god is watching he's saying this time is supposed to be prayer time have you seen families doing devotion in the morning and the father stops say what, what devotion are you doing and he picks a scripture by himself just because he wants to quarrel somebody who is not bringing resources and devotion that is supposed to be a time of love and fellowship ends up becoming quarrel a lot of people accuse pastors who steal church money and you see the truth is that except god shows you the way out otherwise this thing will press you one day you will touch what you should not touch hello please talk to me don't trivialize what pressure can do in the life of a man when you are pressured to a point where you are pushed to the wall you will be surprised at the compromises you will be able to make we are losing believers per second per second because of poverty and what it can bring did you know someone sent me a text one time and told me that the whether they wanted to give the person a job god is my witness but that the person who was helping to facilitate it said they have to pay two hundred and fifty thousand naira before they will get the job i said so do you have the money he said no she was whether i think it was a she coming to just say if i can if god can use me i said no god doesn't use me for those kind of things god does not use me for those kinds of things now it's easy to criticize them and say you mean you love god and you are doing that until you find out that a family of 10 people is depending on one person's pocket to eat it's a cause it's not the will of god imagine for instance that i tell them to give me a bucket now 
and while i'm preaching i just i just say if the bucket comes close to you there's something written on the bucket just read it and do whatever it says look at how your mind everything i'm saying will just go down because i'm passing a bucket you look at the bucket and look at what is written on it and just shut down and say what is all this again but do you not know that it is capital intensive to lift up the name of jesus the name of jesus is heavy it takes resources to lift it up did you hear what i said the name of jesus is not a feather you throw it's heavy it will take the shoulder of priests to take it up it's easy to accuse men of god around oh i like koinonia they don't ask us to give anything we just come and enjoy we enjoy free dinner and they pay money and we, i like this kind of ministry other pastors should be like that uh -uh. don't be quick to criticize my brothers and my sisters if god does not show you the key to this gate you will stand there and almost die <laughs> we raise your banner high we shine your light so bright we sing in our of you you will never walk in integrity if you don't have supplies i guarantee you in the name of the lord you will never walk in integrity life will push you to a point where you must compromise you will preach something you didn't preach 10 years ago because you have found out that in that message now can come a way of helping your belly value now but you see the value listen carefully my brothers and my sisters just being valuable is not enough you must ensure that that value is needed and useful within the context of your civilization this is as simple as it is that your value must be needed listen pastor come let's assume you are selling this and i don't need it now i'm passing you have this i'm just giving an example yet i don't need it will i reward you are you valuable is your value useful to me no do i need it no so you will still suffer although you are valuable that's what is happening to many of us there is almost nobody here that i know who has not recognized something that is valuable and just because we found it we start rejoicing and we believe life should just come and bless us no sir there is a standard that demands reward because the me who is moving around me too i'm looking for something with my resources and until i find the person with that something to the standard i consider rewardable that is the only condition for releasing things it's not enough to be valuable your value must first be needed and useful second your value must be translated to a form where it is served with excellence excellence that relates to every level of mental development did you hear what i just said that your value must be translated to products and services that are served with excellence an excellence that can be able to be satisfying to any kind of level that means that the value you provide and the excellence attached to it may only be able to serve people who are middle class that level of excellence may not suffice for the great who do not think price are we together now so there are many of us who are doing things but that what we are doing i give you an instance our daddy is a prof here are we together now now if you are a graduate they are not going to call you to go and head an institute of something with all kinds of benefits 
accruing to it because you are a graduate but not graduate enough you have not graduated enough to sit there so the problem is not that you are not a graduate but you are not graduate enough the question there is enough to the standard are we together now the person who takes last in a race i hope you know he has a time too that he finished but he did not finish at enough time to get the gold medal the question is not that they finished the question is there is a time allocated and whoever can beat the time is the one who gets the gold so it's not enough to say you are valuable as a man of god let me come back to ministry because many of you as and leave all those things let's talk ministry so let me talk ministry as a man of god it's not enough to be called you can be called you can feel anointed in fact quite honestly you can be anointed but is it to the level that can bless the people who god told to bless you because for every destiny helper there is a standard of grace that compels his resources to answer to you god can tell me or god would have put in my spirit to give pastor alpha a car provided he heals my mad child are we together provided he does what not provided he prays in my house the condition for that reward is that whoever can come with the level of grace that can take away madness in that house so i'm anointed i know scriptures and i come to the house and i roam around and i just pray and at the end of it they just thank me they put malt in a bottle with straw and they put donut and they escort me with it outside and i go it's not that god did not send them your level of value did not make it fair for that answer to come to you that means when i sit in a meeting and grace is coming on me god is lifting me to the standard that can match the helpers so that their resources can now come to me are you getting what i'm saying now listen very carefully everybody who will bless you tomorrow is already alive today your level of grace has not risen enough to call them that's why they are shifted to your tomorrow if you enter that level of grace today they will come today i look at my life today and i see what people do to me and i'm almost tempted to ask where were you where were you when i was sucking ginger inside a straw and i was a believer are we together when i was trekking to first bank without money in my account by faith hoping that i will get miracle alert now you are receiving it free it's just coming there was a price god has authorized pastor alpha this is your prayer request for the next level but your value is here it cannot match until you are lifted to the level that matches it and so the holy spirit has the responsibility of upgrading the saints please listen carefully upgrading the saints to a level where their usefulness becomes worthy of being rewarded by any standard are we together now that means pastor alpha gets to a point where someone will sit down and think with his wife and the lord will say kai build one of my servants a house why don't they think about you because they don't think it's fair to give you that kind of house now remember they know you are called but they think it's unfair they believe that there are more rewarding ministers in terms of impact kingdom impact and the spirit of god by himself will take their minds to those people and say that's the man you should bless please believe what i'm telling you yes we've had people my brothers and my sisters i, I say this to the glory of god we've had people live and travel from other nations and other cities to koinonia not for the program travel with seeds 
and they said they sat down and agreed either as a business enterprise and say no since we love god and before we started this business we agreed that god should grant us grace so that we'll bless others and they leave their cities take flights go through the rigor of coming to zaria and all they are coming to do is apostle we want to sow into koinonia and we want to continue and you ask them why and the man will say i listened to one message say value not message say value but that value had grace and content in it to rise to a level where it can smash the devil worrying that man so the man listened to a message and as he listened to the message he fell asleep and in that sleep the message continued and jesus stepped in the jesus he fasted for two months to see he didn't see but he listened to one message and climbed the ladder of a grace straight into an encounter he would look for that person and reward him that was why nicodemus looked for jesus even in the night he traced him the bible doesn't tell us everything that happened there but i'm convinced he came with honorarium It's just my thinking. It's just my simple thinking. Forgive me if I sound arrogant, but there are some of you as you are seated right now, there are all kinds of envelopes in your pocket. You are waiting for us to share the grace so you will queue and spend time only to come and sow into my life. Now, I'm sorry that I'm the one saying this and I'm not by any way manipulating you, but it's the truth. Now, you are thinking, how will somebody stand for hours just to drop a seat to a man, whereas you beg the same person why he was on the queue and he didn't give you transport fare? Are you seeing how it is? There is no reward until your value rises to a point where it can be served with excellence. As a man of God, nobody will place a demand on your grace just because you are prayerful and just because you study. The truths that you communicate, must the impact of that word must be felt in the lives of the people. When it is done, clear the way for the rewards that will come. Now, you don't preach because of money, don't get me wrong. However, it is important possible my brothers and my sisters to be valuable to serve that value with excellence whether you sell it or give it free you must be rewarded it's a law by the grace of god and the privilege of god's hand god has granted me the opportunity to raise too many people around this nation and around the world for me to beg for bread my children will never beg for bread even if i give back to them and go to be with the lord because people have been raised and wisdom is justified by her children your value has not raised anyone yet you want life to reward you you see how unfair it is just because you think you are a graduate holding a certificate does not mean that what have you given to the world that you demand value from it's amazing how your relatives will not give you money but they will run for a meeting and kneel down waiting for a man of god to pass so they will drop money you beg them for rent they didn't give you yet they are carrying four times that amount to give someone who is already blessed nobody really blesses a needy person they bless valuable people you must translate yourself from this needy mentality to a mentality of value that even if you don't have money in your pocket you can say in the name of jesus i'm coming for koinonia there is an anointing that is coming i'm not falling for nothing every time i fall i rise upgraded in the spirit and a day will come i will put something in the realm of the spirit that will cause the nations to place a demand on my grace jesus climbed up the mountain and people followed him up the mountain to the point that his influence threatened the scribes and the pharisees they said no this guy is stealing the show if we don't do something about him he will destroy us koinonia let me tell you my brothers and my sisters you are gathered here every week by the grace of god because we continue to strive to communicate truths to you that are applicable to every facet of your life it's a formula that is unbendable you would hear testimonies here 
you would hear testimonies every week that the word produced results nobody leaves what works did you hear what i'm saying nobody leaves what works no sir the world does not have too many things that are working so the options are few there are not too many things working in this life so when you find what works you stay and pay whatever price it takes to stay that's why the presence of god is 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 is, is a is a place and a zone you must desire and hunger for forever because you see the presence of god does not just make you heaven bound it makes you valuable it truly does look at my life the presence of god that's where you find the anointing so while i'm worshiping in his presence i love i love i love your presence i love i love you think i'm just wasting time singing but while i'm singing and worshiping in his presence there is an elevation in the spirit a new anointing son you have this anointing and that but you don't have this one let me introduce this in your life and i'm there just worshiping the same way you are typing the letter in your office me too I'm, I'm 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 doing all of that the same way you are reading for a promotion exam and all of a sudden i step out and i see a grace that was not upon me yesterday now the grace has come meaning the person who will not bless me yesterday can now bless me because there is a grace that can now add him to the list of the blessings i love i love i love your presence i love i love I love your presence. I love, I love. I love you, Jesus. I love, I love. Shalabakato Saladat. I love your presence. I love, I love. Listen. Forget about bringing a valuable person down. You don't know how needy this world is until they find true value. All this issue of trying to bring people down is a joke. When you find especially value that is stamped with the hand of God, only God can bring that person down. I'm telling you this. Koinonia will continue to grow from glory to glory it's not just some recitation the formula has been given the scroll is not closed the seals have been broken it's been open we have seen it with our eyes the things men do not have how could they resist it an anointing is not sold in the market an anointing is not stored in a bank the government does not have it so how dare you trivialize the power of God upon the hand of upon the life of a man and then assume it's not there your need will force you to remember that only the anointing can solve it listen you are seated now in this place to some of you you are attending a service I wish you could see in the realm of the spirit that you are climbing ladders some of you travel from far you just thought you came for a service until you go back on Sunday on your little prayer group and you say let us pray fire and you see fire everywhere to an extent that you say what is this what is going on here and everybody descends they will stop calling you brother immediately they, they will have to invent a name to show you you have risen in the spirit Let me tell you this it's good to know how to cook it's good to know how to do business but my brothers and my sisters be anointed this is real value be anointed have something upon you that no man can buy the same way you can do nothing against the truth but for the truth 
he said thou who anointest my head give us that scripture you did not anoint my cup the goal is for my cup to run over but the oil came on my head and the result showed in my cup it takes more than a good profession to prosper it takes more than a good skill to prosper there is only so much reward you can get from that angle ah but when his hand comes upon you blessed is the man that my god finds and puts grace upon you your life will be a wonder you will you will walk upon gold as dust i'm telling you this listen let me tell you all these money money things you see people chase around most people don't have any money they just have enough to solve their basic needs so they look rich they are poor and yet that's what distracts a lot of people but when you stand say lord put something in my life put something upon me i i don't know why people don't pray that prayer oh. God shorten my journey I don't have time shorten my journey let there be an anointing on my profession listen 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 come Emeka you are a doctor come watch this we are going to pray this gentleman is a doctor when someone is sick they will meet you for injection or meet you for whatever now your profession does not determine who you bless the anointing on your profession will make a rich man come as your patient you see now that one is not mbbs again that one is the anointing influencing your possibilities so a day that no doctor is around the billionaire comes and the holy ghost not your profession pushes you there you have a restaurant you are a chef congratulations but not being anointed you will continue to cook for poor people for wherever they will finish eating and then back again and say i don't have 10 naira i don't have 15 naira but when the anointing comes upon it the anointing will make you go to visit your auntie just when a politician is there and he says i'm looking for someone there is a meeting and he says ah my daughter is here that one is no longer your skill that one is a grace from heaven that comes upon men listen you can be a preacher and have a good understanding of scripture mighty exegesis of scripture and they keep inviting you to different places wonderful you will be blessed but the eye of your helpers will never meet you until there is a grace that grace is what will take your seed your message whatever you represent to the ears of the man that can announce your ministry How would I have risen from Zaria here? How many public address structures do you have? I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on any social media as a person. It's not everything that is just good preaching. It's not everything that is just... Mm -mm. There is an anointing that announces. It's called an oil of gladness. It can take men and make you above your fellows please listen the financial tsunami that is coming to destroy men a time will come where you will see people i'm not i'm not i'm not a, a sadist but a time will come where everything you have every other person has it you are educated they are educated and then the other person contending with you is a tribesman of the director what then is your advantage There are things when you have only the rich look for you there are things when you have only the poor look for you there are things when you have only sick people look for you there are things you have only those in need of legal issues look for you there are things when you have only hungry people look for you but there are things when you have all men will seek for you all men all men God designed it that way so when jesus was about to start his ministry having done everything he did the bible says he went to the wilderness and cried there 40 days 40 nights fasting and he returned in the power of the spirit 
and then Acts chapter 10 tells us how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power the Bible says he went about doing good healing all day that were oppressed something humorous happened today I I have never been to Shiloh as a person and I was just sitting today and all of a sudden I got a text the pastor in charge of registering pastors in Shiloh sent a text to my phone and said man of God are you coming we want to arrange your reservations and this I said what is this now listen I'm just saying it to encourage you I don't know that man from Adam are we together now yet there is somebody who will not stay in the secret place but will keep lobbying you will go there and be roaming around the gate like a thief they will say please join the members or sit in the overflow listen once you are struggling to be accepted in a realm and they are rejecting you it's a sign that the anointing has not opened the door go back don't force yourself just go back when you try to enter as a pastor you see other pastors and you are fighting for acceptance and they are saying mr man we invited a b not you will consider you one day stop making a mockery of yourself go back to the secret place and say where is the god that puts oil on the head of men let me tell you my brothers and my sisters when what comes upon great men comes upon you there is no door that will remain closed thou anointest my head with oil is someone ready to pray tonight this is the value that i brought for you that if you if god grants you access to the anointing and you can serve that anointing with excellence there is no door listen you don't have to leave your profession it just needs to be anointed many of us are educated but our certificates are not anointed many of us are skilled but your skill needs to be anointed i'd like you to find a corner our time is gone for the next five or ten minutes worship team just set the atmosphere for us find a place and blast in tongues and pray in the spirit and cry to god and say lord you are the giver of all good things you don't withhold good things lord put something upon my life place an anointing upon my head that will answer to the needs of kings that will answer to the needs of nobles place an anointing upon my degree place an anointing upon my masters place an anointing upon my phd oh god place an anointing upon my profession i am a lawyer but only an educated one can you put an anointing upon my legal practice your usefulness amplified by the presence of the anointing worshipers pray lord i can see i have written songs but let an anointing come upon my song so called Lord, I'm a businessman. It is true that I've paid my price. Doing well, learning the principles of business. But let an anointing come upon the value that I provide. Outside, make sure you're praying. Overflow, make sure you're praying. Now anointest my head with oil. Shabakatokata. My business overflows. My ministry overflows. My church overflows. Thou anointed my head with oil. Favor overflows. Thou
thou anointest my head with oil, my career explodes. Thou anointest my head with oil. Koinonia, pray. You are opening the gates of greatness. Pray. Lord, let your anointing announce me. Let your anointing announce the gift of God upon my life. Shaka takata. Come on, prayer warriors, pray. Pray like a priest. Embra koto shake te leko teke seke ta. Embra keto kasana makata. Reke te koto seke te leke te masia. Hallelujah. I like you to mention whatever it is that you do, whether it's your job, whether it's your business, and say, Lord, let your anointing and your fire come upon it, and let there be an explosion from the left to the right. Lift your voice and pray. If you are in ministry, pray over the work God has put in your hand. Lord, it's time to take the power the glory of God to the nations. It's time for the gates of ministry to be opened for the sake of the gospel. As a businessman, it's time to rob minds with the great. Lift me by your anointing, O God. Your certificate can give you a job. It will take the anointing to rise. to pray a serious prayer lord by the anointing on my life take away poverty and hardship lift your voice and pray if there is an anointing on my life then there is a demand for it let the anointing of my life roll away financial reproach let the anointing upon my life activate divine supply by the ministry of destiny help us that it will be a privilege for men to arise and answer to the cause of my people pray god will answer i tell you at me look at me we're praying there is an anointing that works like perfume Isaac used it and said my son is like a field I place something upon my son that makes him to begin to smell like a field that the Lord has blessed that means you pass and that aura attracts you have you seen people you just like and honestly there is nothing there is no reason you just look at them and you go out of your way to ask questions what are you doing in zaria i just came do you have a place to stay and you too you are wondering the smell when the woman broke the alabaster box the bible says the perfume fill the room there is there is this plant they call queen of the night 
that's the name i think is that true and once it's night when other plants are sleeping that plant just takes over the entire atmosphere the anointing is smellable you can be within a vicinity and the spirit of someone begins to know ah, this man is here let me go and see this person I say i knew it i knew you were there hold on wait for me and the person will go and bring something i like you to pray the fragrance of your glory lord let it smell my life that as i walk my life becomes a walking miracle to pray two more prayer points i like you to cry and say lord i am the one who will break the circle of hardship in my entire lineage there are many of us here listen listen let me tell you the truth you will be a wicked person if you don't think of your children the power of god is here i sense a strong anointing i like you to pray that the grace upon your life will crush hardship once and for all over your family lift your voice and pray says John was anointed from the womb listen until that time they never named anybody John so they wanted to give him a name an identity like what was the status quo but when the angel came you see that Zechariah wanted to corrupt the destiny of someone who was going to be the greatest of all prophets according to the mouth of the Lord and the, the father's mouth was shut so that the destiny be preserved listen when you do uncommon things uncommon men come to you when you do common things common men come to you you are going to pray lord anoint me for unusual things unusual dimensions 
unusual ministry unusual business unusual medical practice it has to be unusual no table they said that a notable miracle had happened lift your voice lord an unusual prophet an unusual apostle an unusual evangelist an unusual caterer an unusual chef come on pray an unusual IT consultant an unusual doctor an unusual professor dimensions of the workings of the spirit unusual dimensions unusual dimensions hallelujah listen let me tell you this I shared with you years ago that a man of God was praying for me and that man said something that disturbed me I went to sow a seed to him and he said oh Lord create a problem that only him can solve I, I, I thought that was selfish when you talk of kingdom kingdom is not a thing of competition and the rest but he said he has prayed his prayer whether I believe it or not it was later as I began to grow that I understood that ah he was not being selfish he was just saying Lord distinguish him put him in a level let me tell you Rehoboth means God has given me my space there is your space in life that you dig a well they can come and close it but there is a space in ministry there is a space in business you are going to pray one prayer Lord allocate my space and keep me there a space that is beyond competition beyond contention there are names that when you call on earth there is no basis for comparing them there are names when you call in ministry in business in family life they are outstanding they are in a class of their own your father god is in a class of his own cannot be compared with any other god Listen. I met I just returned from a trip and I met a particular music minister and he came to me and hugged me I said oh I've been blessed by your songs I'm happy to see you now and he looked at me he said apostle this is not the first time you're meeting me I said really he said in 2012 I was in a meeting I was nobody you called me out and prophesied to me and I said I did he said yes that you prophesied to me that the wells of worship the fountain will begin to rise and that from that time his life had moved forward and while we were in the meeting the lord spoke to him, to him again and i told him i said you are going to write just one song one that will surpass what your songs have done again it doesn't take too many things to lift you just one noise by the hand of god there was one earthquake Bang! what did ben carson do to be great just one surgery and that was it when you call all the music ministers in this nation it's usually one song many songs they wrote but one song bishop td jakes wrote one book woman thou art loose till today no other book has brought him that kind of reward dr miles munro had written so many books bestsellers but when he wrote rediscovering the kingdom that one book was a game changer 
please can we borrow one more minute and say lord what is the one thing that will announce me by your grace let it come let it come let it come lift your voice and pray lord what is the one song lord as a man of god what is the one meeting the one meeting that will announce my grace as a doctor who is the one patient that i will treat and get out of poverty forever one thing is needful one thing one thing pray koinonia there is a god that answers one encounter many he had with jesus changed his life one encounter with catherine kuhlman changed his life one encounter we are still praying lord what is the one thing the one dimension who do i need to prophesy to for my life to change whose body must be healed through my hands what is the one meeting that will announce your grace upon my life what is that one publication that the nations will hear hallelujah praise the lord i like you to shout the name jesus goodness i see the angels of the lord and these are not the kinds of angels i see every miracle service hallelujah there will be a shout a healer the instrumentalist at the count of three and the spirit of god on behalf of yourself and your family members are you ready at the count of three one Two, three, three. Every demon spirit, every curse, every ordinary, bring them out. Yeah. 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 
Something will lead you tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Lord is releasing people from all kinds of bondages. The power of God is touching somebody outside. In a mighty way, somebody outside. A devil of darkness, you will let her go. Come out of her right now. Come out of her. Devil of darkness. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. It's against you tonight. Hallelujah. this girl go now foul devil of darkness come out of her out you're free in the name of Jesus Christ stand up let this girl go now thou foul devil in the name that is above all names. Out you go. Out now. Come out of her. Out of her. Please make sure everyone is connecting. This has nothing to do with falling down. God is visiting people. Look at me. You, look at me. Just look at me. No, you don't need to come out. Just look at me. Look at me. Just keep your eyes looking at me. Let this girl go now. The foul devil of darkness. I come against you and against the infirmity. Come out of her. Come 
out of her. God is going to visit this whole family. Hallelujah. Because I'm seeing the thing of darkness. This is what God is showing me. I didn't even know I was pointing to family members. Hallelujah. Mommy, let me pray for you. Because this is, this is a demonic thing. Trying to affect your health. Please hold my hands. Mommy, please. Please, if you can shout Jesus as loud as you can. Can you? Just as loud as you can. Go ahead. In the name that is above all names. Please lay one hand on your chest. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. This is a curse of marital delay. Let her go. Now! Thank you, Jesus. Come out of her. Out of her. Come out. You're free. Same thing. Come out of her right now. Devil of darkness. You're leaving. I see you in the spirit. You're going. It's time for this family to step into a new level. Be free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Any lump, lump in your breast, lump anywhere is going to live right now. Make sure you check yourself. Instant miracles of lumps. I, I saw it and the Lord told me it's time. I want to pray it right now. I told somebody to come out. I brought somebody from that room. Who is the person? I told that God will visit her. Not the woman. Do you know why I called you out? The Lord will wipe these tears that you're crying tonight. Are you listening to me? Just look at me. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Give her a new beginning, O God. Visit her family. I want to rebuke lumps right now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is God is helping people. There are people you've had lumps, multiple lumps in your breast. It's going to disappear right now. Hallelujah. Maybe we'll have a few. Let me tell something with this lady. You notice she's always coming out. I will see her afterwards. A literal human being appears to sleep with this girl. This is what is responsible. This is this is this is not just an issue of deliverance. This is an issue of help. This is a family thing. This is what the Lord is showing me. This is not just the devil coming. I mean, this is not in a dream. Uh -uh. You see, that's why whenever they come, these spirits leave her, but they don't go away. Early in the morning, they will reappear again. That's it. So, just, just let her be. God will set her free. Hallelujah. Are you ready, Lums? In the name of Jesus. Please, as soon as I pray for you, make sure you start checking yourself. Many of you will be shocked. It will look like magic. Maybe we'll take some testimonies here. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, every lump in your breast or any part of your body, your neck, your waist, wherever, right now, I command it to disappear. 
in the name of Jesus I command it to leave be healed right now be healed right now go ahead begin to check yourselves come bring that child can we have the mic please what's, 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 this, what's the issue help us with the mic please He has not been eating. Who brought him? Whose child is this? Where is his mother? If we are calling your child, Mama, please come. Let's save time. Huh? They came all the way from Kano. Yes, I asked them to come. You rejoice because you will know you meet God tonight. Amen. Please, somebody hold this child because you too. Come out of her. Out. Hold this child, please. You are the first to be visited. All the way from Kano. That devil. This woman is supposed to die before the end of the year. I curse this spirit out right now. Out of her with a loud shout you are going. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong with the child? He has not been eating. So we take him to the... Why did he have all this abnormality? The so, doctors. Madam, look at me. You are delivered. I don't know what it is that runs through your leg. But I'm seeing light. Power of God. Hallelujah. What happened to your child? Talk to us, please. Let's save time. I gave back to him normal. It was normal when I gave back to him. Okay. So when it was four months, we discovered that the front was enlarging. So we went to hospital after the scanning. They said that there is water in the head. That water came. Water? Yes. That's hydrocephalus. So we need doctors. Who is a doctor here? They said he was going to undergo operation. Not student doctor. Eh? Okay, come. Thank you. Sir. What? Did you say? They say hydrocephalus. What's that? Hydrocephalus is accumulation of water in, in the furnaces of the brain. Okay, what does it what does it lead to this? Yes. It will keep on enlarging until the capacity of the bone is able to contain it. So the bone itself will keep on enlarging and the sinuses, that is the sutures, will keep on expanding. Does it have a medical cure? Um, the only medical cure is to drain the water. But even as at that, I don't think it has a medical cure. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. <laughs> That he might destroy the works of you. See, the Bible says from the beginning it was not so. This is nonsense. Are you listening to me? And our job is to bring everything back to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. This demonic, you did not create. Look at me. Come back. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Don't talk to her. She will come back. You will come back with a testimony. This child's head will start reducing. Are you hearing me? This child, it supernaturally, you will see it go back. Are you listening to me? Hold on. I know. I'm seeing a girl, baby girl. That was my first daughter. I lost her. Where is she? She's dead. She's dead. That's what I said. The spirit of death. You would have died before the end of the year because I'm seeing a baby girl. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't see her again. Where's your husband? He's in Canada. Get ready. A baby girl is coming again. <laughs> huh? Are you listening to me? Yes. I have three boys. I just gave birth. It was still a boy. I was not happy. That's what I'm telling you. Did, did you discuss this with me? Did you discuss no, this with me? No, Please, no. if I don't call any case, don't start bringing people I'm out. Please. You for the first please. Time but let her come out. If we, if, if we don't call cases, please, we are taking this. I've me I'm meeting you for the first time. That's what I'm saying. Knowing me is not important. It's the Lord Jesus Christ whom you know. 
he will come back here and give a testimony Amen. of a baby girl. Amen. All right, the flame of death. And tell your husband where is he working? He worked with the school. He and then what happened? He's still working. He's still working there. Yes. That's not where he's supposed to be. Huh? We take him to the rightful place. Amen. Where God will bless him because this this has been a financial challenge. This is issue of money. Yes. Is that true? Yes. But you people too are not very faithful in tithing, so you must have been faithful in tithing. Huh? Did you discuss it with me? No. You will tithe one today because of an emotional message. The only way God knows. You open the door for Satan. Hmm? Madam, you will go back with favor. Amen. I release upon you that grace for favor. You came with them. What's wrong with his ears? Uh, they took him to the hospital. He was. He he's was still as a result. It's as a result of all of these things. It's connected. Don't worry. As God is taking him back, there will be complete restoration. Yeah. Hmm? Your son will not. You will come back here with testimonies. Yeah. Who are you? You know them, or you are from Kano too? My elder sister. Your elder sister. Yes, Tell sir. me one thing you want the Lord to do for you. To heal. Think well, not him. You. Don't just talk carelessly. I'm not. Not many people will have the opportunity to be asked this question. Let me tell you. To help my family with open doors of favor. Where's your father? My father is late. Where's your mother? Behind them. No, no, no. I'm not saying she should come out. Okay. She's sitting here. You are a student? Yeah. I finished my secondary school tonight, so I've been writing jumps. Since this is what you would have asked. This is why I asked you. That's what I was praying for you. Eh? You have your relatives here, people who know you, who are also praying for you. Hold my hands. Get into the university in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever the problem is, we cancel it here right now. I don't care what it is. We admit you into any university of your choice in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your number one desire. God will locate your family. Bless you. Where is please? Who brought this woman? Please, if we don't call your case, we are going to we are going to deal with this. If not, we'll have this place very rowdy now. Who brought this woman? Oh, yeah, come now. Who brought her? No, no, don't worry, don't worry. What's wrong with her? Brain problem. Brain. She lost her memory. She lost her memory. She's lost her memory. She doesn't know you now. Ah. What happened? Don't know. I'm just her house help. Oh, you are just her house help. Come and help me. Look at this girl. Many house helps. This is the time to plunder and run away, Pastor. May God turn you from a house help to a great woman. This is your own blessing this night. Hallelujah. This is terrible. Thank you, Jesus. That devil of darkness, he will let this woman go. I bring you life. Life to these dead cells, dead brains. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. You look at me. Just look at me. Just look at me. Just try to look at me. Come back to miracle. Find somewhere and keep this noise again. Sweetheart, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody brought somebody brought a very sick person.
will pray for them, but the Lord is showing me you brought somebody. Is it a sick person? Who is that person? Inside or outside? Please, let's save time more. God really wants to visit people and we don't want to waste unnecessary time here. He will come back with testimonies for this woman. It's terrible. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone. You literally feel as though they put pepper in your eyes. When you look at light like this, it burns you seriously. This thing started this year. Who is that person, please? Who is that person? Who is that person? No. Oh. Is she the okay? Come. Who brought her? Mama. Does she, can I speak English or does she want answer? Come now, why are you afraid? Huh? What's what's the issue? Diabetes. Diabetes. It's affecting, also her eyes. It's affecting her eyes. I will pray for her. Tell her I will pray for her and the Lord will heal her. Is she hearing? Yes. Is she here? Mama, I will pray for you right now. This is a spirit. Be healed of diabetes right now. I come against that foul spirit. Check herself. Find out that there's no diabetes again. You, you came for yourself. What's wrong with you? Um, it's not like I'm sick. Okay. I need marriage and. Uh, you want to get married? Go straight to the point. Look, let me tell you something. If we ask you to come out here and we and you are just talking stories, you go back to your seat. Praise God. This is this is a family. Nobody is against marriage here. Is that true? If you came here for marriage, when we are praying, receive it. Don't say my neighbor will look. You don't want to get married. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Did you hear the testimonies of the marriage? Sir? The marriage yes, testimonies. Yes, Do you believe God is still at work in this place? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. Are you in a relationship? You need to be delivered first before marriage. Hmm? I release you from this curse. This is what has been holding her back. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. We will come back with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for supernatural marriages. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Some of you will need to outside. Are you, can you hear me outside? You can stand for yourself or for your family members. I want to pray. Make sure the person you want to get married to is of the opposite sex. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Please believe the Lord. Because one of the things that has been happening in this place is supernatural inexplainable the hand of God lift your hands in the name that is above all names 
Now, there are some of you, as I pray, you see, some of you, what is stopping you is the hand of darkness. For a few people, not everybody, because I'm seeing spirits. The moment I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, the hand of God will come upon some people. Hallelujah. It will come upon them in a mighty way. That's what is stopping the marriage. Lift your hands. Not everybody you can receive, but there are some people, this is what they need. Hallelujah. When I say in the name of Jesus, I just wanted to shout, I receive. The moment you say that God will visit some people, I see God touching two ladies outside on this. This, this marriage thing, we must deal with it this night. How many of you believe it? In the mighty name of Jesus. Now that devil of darkness that is responsible for delay in marriages. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. That devil of darkness that is responsible. The power of God is falling. That devil. There are spirits that are responsible for delay. Come out. 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 These are demon spirits. Out in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Marital delay. The Lord rebuke you. I tell you, God is setting people free. Marital delay as is happening. Marital delay. Marital delay is a yoke of bondage outside. The fire of God is visiting a few people. All those above 30, 30 and above who have not gotten married, ladies, let God visit you now. I release that fire. Shake the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire of the Holy Ghost let there be testimonies of supernatural marriages this row I see an angel standing there is one lady the power of God will come upon you strong. That devil of darkness. Enough is enough. Just this room. Because I see the angel of the Lord standing. Lord, let that person come out. The Holy Ghost will bring you out. You will come out. You will come out. You will come out. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Leave her alone. She will come out. No. Hallelujah. I want to curse barrenness. Are you listening to me? Now is the time to stand for your loved ones, for yourself. Some of you lived all kinds of reckless past lives. As you are standing now, you may not even have a womb. A new one will come upon you. When God forgives sins, He forgives consequences. I don't care what the biological complication is. I like you to receive. You will come back with testimonies. Hallelujah. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That curse of childlessness. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. I set your loved ones free. I set you free. Any barren person in this place, any barren family in this place, ma ta 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 ta, re ke te te te, re ke te te te, re ke bo shoto, ba toko bo te ke, re ke te bo soko toba, le ke bo yata, ma re ke te 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 te, e ke bo ro toba kata. You 
will come back with miracle children. You will come back with miracle children. Your loved ones will come back with miracle children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a few people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is showing me some people. You've been so you are an adult, but you don't know what happens. You've been suffering from bedwetting. You wake up in the morning and you find out that you are easing yourself on your bed. There's, no, there's nothing to be embarrassed. Man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are that kind of person. Come and stand out here quickly. Forget about who is watching you. Nobody has that time. Let me tell you. There are people like that, a devil of darkness. Inside and outside. This is a this is a demonic issue. There are people, oh, there are people. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. It's a spirit. It's not just about discipline. You can't stop it with discipline. I don't know why God is visiting that situation. Hallelujah. Let's take the next case. I'm seeing problems with your heart. Whether hole in your heart or any form of asthmatic condition. Please come out quickly. Hole in your heart or asthmatic condition. Please let's save time. That devil is a liar. I had an accident. After the accident, they said my heart will enlarge and there is an uh, infection. It will, it will go back. Amen. Be free right now. Amen. Heart, return to your normal condition. Infection, go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. As I lay hands on you, whatever the issue is, you will be healed of it. Whether heart, asthma, be free right now. Please make sure you are coming out for the case we have mentioned. What are you coming out for? Feeling a hole in my heart. Always, ever since I saw from Osa. After Did the, the doctors service, tell you? Yes. After the treatment. The also that's been disturbing me, but it's just for a while. But that whole sister, come, God will visit you. This has nothing to do with also. Hmm? Where's your you have an elder sister? Yes, where is she? She's in Abuja. Is she married? Yes, what was she doing? She's married, but the first child she gave birth to it has been a problematic child. But this is six years now. She has not stepped her feet on the on the ground, and she has not started talking. And I'm all this why she has not given birth at all. Lay one hand on your chest. See, whatever is happening to one person here is happening to you too. Are you listening to me? You must believe it. This lady with yellow. That lady, you, 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 no, no, don't come out. Just lift your hands where you are. Both of your hands now, are you pledging? Look at me. Father, visit this girl. The Lord is showing me something about her. Lord, visit this lady. Set her free. Mm. 
It's like a mighty rushing wind. That spirit will not stand. It's looking like a knife is going through you. Set her free, Lord. What's wrong with you? Lay your hands there. Since when? Just lay your hands and look at me. Don't worry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart. Okay, just hold my hands as I pray for you. You'll be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Come. We love God very well. What of you is not true. How true is it? <laughs> eh? Shall we see how true it is? Lord, be sitting. I break this addiction from your life. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Why did you say it's true? You do. Amen. Let it not corrupt your Christian testimony. Amen. God is not just visiting you, but your family. You are in for it with God this night because it's, it's multiple. Some families have put some people in trouble they don't know. Parents in their innocence have gone to do things in a bid to try to help the be healed, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The name of hope, be free. This is what is happening. This thing is all the way from Lagos. This is God setting this lady free. Sometimes we do things. Parents, be careful. You go to places and do things believing you are helping your children. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ because God wants to use you in your mighty healing ministry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My brother, God is calling you this night. When I make the altar call, before I finish, just run and come and stand here. Right? This is your night. Eh? There is no issue of running to God and then God brought you because we love you. Okay? You deserve You deserve You deserve The lifting of my You deserve Just walk with me. You deserve. Don't be looking at me. Don't worry. This is confusion. 
And this is why God is telling me, this is how your life is. That's why I held you and I was walking. God wants to set you free from serious confusion. You are easily deceived. Anybody can tell you anything. And that's why I was moving around. This does not, this is confusion. You get easily deceived. Anybody just say anything and you believe. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands, both of your hands. Satan, it's time up for you with this lady. Foul spirit. You will let this lady go. Release her. You can't stand it. I've seen you in the spirit. God is against you. This demonic thing must leave you. Sopakapata. Reketebola koso preti kadebosh. You will have a strong heart. The Bible says, Be wise as serpents. What are you here for, my sister? Why you oh, while you were praying, you saw yourself on the ground. You decided to come and report yourself. <laughs> what do you think God is doing? Just stretch your hands like you're receiving something. Look at me. Truly, you will receive something. Just look at me. And suddenly, you become heavy because you are receiving spiritual things. <laughs> you can't hold it. It's too heavy for you. For you and for all your family members, may God visit you. God is not done with you. There is a fire that will burn you. The same thing will be happening to your family members. You need to be free. You love God, but there are all kinds of encumbrances. This night, this one is not just deliverance. This one is God catching you finally for Him. Lord, take over her whole life from head to toe. Take over everything you can take over in this lady's life. Cares, go. Cares, go. Cares, go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray. Just leave her out because she's not recovering soon. This one is not just deliverance. God is taking, I have found my servant David. This is what is happening. When God finds a man, he doesn't leave you easily. He makes sure that you rise up with a hunger that nothing else. I trust God that this will happen to many people in this place. Man. Because I tell you, pastor, a lot of people are in certain situations because they love God but they have cares. So they, are, they, are, they easily become praise. It's not enough to, to be healed or to be delivered. Your heart must be with God for you to walk in sustainable victory. Many people like miracle service. They just run and come and take the miracle and then they run away. But let me tell you something. Your heart come sister. Unto him come who sits on the throne let God find you today are you hearing me to Jesus the lamb who was slain hold my hands father find a vessel in this lady do with her what only you can do ignite a fire in her spirit even as you have revealed to me, let this lady have a, a passion that cannot be quantified. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual weakness leaves you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
the Lamb who was slain. The Lord is healing my grain headache. The Lord is healing my grain headache. My grain headache. Intense. My grain headache. Where's my neighbor? Is she here? She, she didn't come. Please come. Tonight the Lord is going to visit you. See, many of you don't know that there's something called the season of God's visitation. Who is precious here? Precious. You are precious. Your real name, oh, the one precious. <laughs> Make sure it's the name your father gave you, not the one you gave yourself. This night, say, I must be precious. God, he must visit me. Many people threaten me with text messages during the miracles. I say, See, God must visit me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord is visiting you. Hold my hands. This demon of marital delay is going. You will go to a real deliverance, right? Come out! Come out of her! The fire of God is burning your whole body from head to toe. It's a foul spirit. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. It, I'm announcing it this night. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. That foul devil, come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out to a foul spirit. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted. This is a snake. Look at look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. I see. Look at look at this. This is what is responsible. Shake it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Come out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Zombe ketek liar. Brata bata kata baladaba. Just leave her. He cannot stand. He's going. Now, foul devil, you will release her. There is no hiding. The power of God is against you. You will go and return no more. And as you are going, I call forth your husband, not a man. Your husband. Your husband. Precious. All of you. All of you have... No, no, no. I didn't ask my green to come out. But since you came out, may God visit you. You have an elder brother. Where is he? He's in Abuja. Doing what? He's, no, he's doing nothing. He went for holidays. Which holiday? He went to Hosu. Tell him to come back. This is what happens to people. They, they just believe that bread is in Abuja. Let me tell you. If some of you want to run, you want to fake visa and run to Germany. Can I tell you something? The Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. Because some of you are already planning. You just believe. You say you are running. Where to say greener pastures? The Bible says he makes me lie down in The green pastures is the presence of God. Don't feel embarrassed. Okay? May the Lord visit you and visit your brother in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be a great teacher of the word. Huh? You will be a great teacher of the word. Something like light will hit your eyes right now. And God will give you the spirit of revelation. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Open his eyes. Open his eyes.
his eyes. You will be rich, oh. Because you have suffered, you will be rich. And look at me, I'm not just, this is not entertainment. I'm telling you the word of the Lord. Huh? Never forget the house of God, but you will be mightily blessed. How it will happen, we will make people think you went to diabolic, you went and did diabolic things. May the Lord bring this to pass. You will see it happen. Some of you don't know that God will use you more than you have planned. You just think you will just be passive in the house of God and not do anything. No way. God knows how to get you. He will bring you for miracle service quietly. While you are thinking fashion and business and this... God is thinking fashion plus ministry. It's not just fashion, oh my dear. And beauty makeup is, is, is a serious call. My name is Precious. Where's your mother? Where? Do you believe God wants to visit your family? Yes. Tell your mother to forgive everybody that has done whatever. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Who offended her? It was one of our uncles. She said, Abba. To her, she said that he, she used to tell us as our children that, that he maltreated This thing, since when she was small when till was now, small. this is what is stopping her breakthrough. Did you discuss this with me? No. Let her forgive, please. For as long as you keep somebody down, part of you will still be down. Is that true? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the worship ministry, please, listen. If you come out here, I, I don't mean you like singing or you have a passion. No, I, I like singing. I'm not called into the worship ministry. You get my point? Please, don't be emotional about it about it come and line up here quickly quickly god wants to visit people i don't know why worship ministry will be alive to see you if after this prayer worship ministry ah. please think about it oh <laughs> see the worship ministry is not a hobby Blessed is he. If there's no space, just stand where you are because fire, there's going to be a restoration of the Davidic order of worship. Believe it. I'm going to stand. Listen, as I walk around this place, the power and is, is fire that will come. It will catch many of you in a mighty way. Lord Jesus, as I begin to take it, take it right now, take it, fall, fall, take it, take it, take the fire, 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 take the fire. Take the fire. The Davidic order of worship. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Shaka balada bataka. Sing like angels. Receive it. It's coming on you. Lift up your hands, all of you that came to the front. My God, let it fall right now. My God, let it fall right now. To those standing at the door, let it fall, 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 take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, healing anointings, take it, make sure you are receiving it. Songs. Many
many of you will hear songs in your spirit new songs psalms hymns spiritual songs psalms hymns spiritual songs receive it psalms hymns spiritual songs songs of power songs of light songs of grace songs of healing Consecration is the key. Consecration is the key to a life of true worship. Consecration. Thank God for the music dimension. But consecration is the key to a genuine life. You want to stand, some of you are already looking for money. If this is your ambition, you will not get this Davidic anointing. It doesn't happen that way. Your heart must pant after God and after his kingdom. You must stay in the place of training until he builds you. Oh, let it fall. Yes, Lord, let it fall. Let it fall. As it were in the days of Jehoshaphat. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall dimensions. Lord, release it from the east side of the temple. Let there be a releasing songs of power. Songs of the spirit. Hallelujah. So that we will do mighty things for our God. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. Thank you, Jesus. Did you bring prayer requests? Please pass them quickly. Now, all those who are sick, inside and outside, please, I'd like you to come out quickly. While this is happening, be passing the prayer requests. Please, let's save time. Do it quickly. Mighty things are happening in this place. Please don't be in a rush this night. Because what God wants to do, he has not finished. Please, you are sick. Come out, just ushers, help me and line them up, please. Please. Quickly, quickly, this is a miracle service. As you come and stand, trust God for your miracle. Trust God for your healing, please. If you are doubting, just go back to your seat. Anybody who is, please play the instruments. Anybody, mic, music director, whoever. Those of you, those of you staying, make sure you are praying for them. As I lay my hands on you, I want to assure you. Please believe God for real miracles. Some of you as you are standing, because there is a healing river, as you are standing, you can't stand that majestic healing presence of the Holy Spirit. It's a majestic presence. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch, help me, Pastor. Please help him with your mic. Is flowing. Jesus, Jesus. we, we believe. Make sure you pass Jesus, your prayer request. I tell you, there is a there healing is river. Healing in your there is a name. healing river. Hey, hey. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit, gentle touch, is flowing. 
Jesus. 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 Mighty things in this place. 
Quest. Those outside, God will soon do something mighty. The Lord is showing me a vision right now. It will rain is here tonight to meet you at the point of your need. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see healing. I see breakthrough. I see miracle here tonight. Probably one of the biggest miracles that will happen in this place tonight. Many of you don't know what a breakthrough is. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. This is what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Please, if you have not submitted your request, let me tell you where we got the revelation of this. The Bible says, and they sent a threat letter to Hezekiah. Remember? And the Bible says Hezekiah took the letter and came and dropped it on the altar and showed God the threatenings. And when that happened, there was wisdom that was revealed and they strategized worshippers. And the Bible says that they began to fight themselves in the camp. You will see a lot of confusion as we begin to pray for this thing. I don't mean confusion here. Confusion in the camp of the enemy. Whatever request you brought in this place, I really want, many of you don't know what God is doing this night. God is setting people on fire. We have a few minutes remaining. But God will visit you. We want you to come back with evidences that God touched you. See, when you get results, it's a consolation to your Christian work. Are you listening to me? Those outside, look at some of you standing Standing right across, I see you. God cannot allow you to go back the same way. It's impossible. You didn't come to meet an idol. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet, everybody. It's a very prophetic moment right now. As we pray, I'd like to ask the ministers, Pastor Williams. Pastor. So. Please, 
if you've not written your request, drop it. God is doing great things in this place. As we begin to pray on this request. Hallelujah. Pray along with us. Prophesy. Stretch your hands and pray. Tell the Lord, this is my request, O oh Lord. This is my request. Father, locate people. Locate people, O oh God. Locate cases. There are, there are difficult cases. Cases of barrenness. Deliverances for families. Lord, this is an altar you have sanctified. In one accord we pray. Just lay your hands across it. As we release the virtue of perfection. Total breakthroughs. Academic breakthroughs. Make sure you are praying. Say, Lord, my request in this is in this place. Locate it. Those online, we are connecting with them also in the spirit. Those following us on all of our online channels. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Release breakthroughs to families. We sanctify these requests. These Egyptians will never be seen in families and lives again. Change stories, oh God. Hallelujah. Omnipotent Father, Lord God of mercy and grace. The God who says a thing and accomplishes it in the life of his children. The I am that I am. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. Who is there like unto you? You are greater than the greatest. You are stronger than the strongest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You're the one who sits in the heavens and you made the earth your full stool. You are great. You are greatly to be praised. We thank you because of this opportunity that you have given unto us, O oh God, to bring down our needs, our supplication, our request unto your feet. You said in your word that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly far above all we ever ask, think, or imagine according to the power that is at work within us. We thank you, O oh God, because we know that every need that has been penned down, every request that has been written down, you have already seen it. You have already seen it. And because you have seen it, we thank you because this, this request are seen by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we see you doing great things in this place tonight. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for the testimonies that are coming out from this pen down written notes. We thank you for the testimonies coming out from this. In the name of Jesus, we bless you because we know that we will come here next time to give you thanks of what you have done. Thank you Lord because every need, every need, every need here, they are met. Amen. We give you thanks. Thank you, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Oh God, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. For we know the 
Let all things work together for our good. We give you thanks. We give you praise. For by faith we know your grace. We see us through. Praise the Lord. My God, as I pray, you gave me an anointing to bless, an anointing to release. Father, as many people as are in this place, inside and outside, they came here hungry. And Lord, as I speak on behalf of the government of heaven, let these words be so effectual. Let these words be fervent. Respond, O oh God. Every word I declare, let there be testimonies that will return. Every word that I'm about to declare to you, please when I pray, I like you to shout Amen with all your heart. Because I sense a very strong prophetic anointing coming upon me. I really want to speak from the depths of my heart. I don't just want you to believe it. I want you to return. The Bible says, and the 70 returned rejoicing. Hallelujah. I want to pray for families. Lift your hands. Let's start with families right now. Please, I'd like you to shout amen with all your heart. Hallelujah. Every family represented in this place, every family, any curse, any ordinance of darkness, every yoke of bondage, afflicting any family I set you free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. father mother brothers sisters be free be free, be free, be free, be free, be free, be free. Oh, you will come back with testimonies. Anyone here, whether you or your family members looking for a job in the mighty name that is above all names between today and the next 40 days i place a demand upon the heavens receive miracle jobs receive miracle jobs for you, for your loved ones. Institutions 
carry their names in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Those with any kind of academic issue, I don't care what it is, any kind of academic, whether missing script. You are on probation, you are trusting the hand, whatever it is. You are doing your project, things are difficult. Whatever academic issue tonight, in the name of the Lord God of Israel, the one who does wonders in this place, I declare, step into a season of academic victory. Step into a season of academic victory. I release you from any kind of bondage. I release you any kind of academic bondage. Be free. Be free. Amen. Be free. Amen. Hallelujah. All those who are due for marriage, whether you or your love, your loved ones, See, let me tell you in this place, once you are of marriageable age, you must marry. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Right. Hallelujah. Somebody married, that's why you are here. You must marry. Praise God. Are you listening to me? Right now, I speak as a servant of the living God. I've prayed about it, but I will pray again. I pray. Some of you, you are a lady, you are pretty. But no man can come around. This is a curse. Tonight I pray that your wives and your husbands, those of you who, are, who have concubines and etc. When I make the altar call, run out here. Because this is what will stop you. You are entitled to only one wife. Say amen. You are entitled to only one husband. Say amen. amen. The spirit of double dating dies here tonight. Amen. Leave another sister's husband to locate her husband. Leave another brother's wife to locate him. But I pray in the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, may there be fearful or inspiring Miracle marriage. Take it. Take it. God told me before December 31st, 2013. Come back with testimonies for yourself, for your loved ones. We supply the resources. We supply the grace. disease in this place HIV whatever it is hallelujah infections all kinds of satanic names I declare right now we curse it from the root in the name of Jesus anyone here whose genotype is SS or AS in the name that is above all names be changed be changed to AA I change it in the name of the Lord receive it receive a change of genotype you will come back with testimonies believe it, receive it everything he made he made it beautiful any kind of demonic dreams and oppressions of darkness. Some of you see people sleep with you. Some of you see all kinds of demonic things. Molestations of darkness. I pray right now. The last time you had that dream or that experience, let it be the last time forever in your life. I said let it be the last time forever. Let it be the last time forever. Satan, I curse you. I cause every foul Amen, amen, amen. All those who are stupid.
students and are in final year, I declare those who need the mercy of God for their graduation, I pray right now, let policies be changed. Let something happen in your faculty that has never happened. We release you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy restoration. Whatever it is that you have lost, whether as a result of your past or mistakes, opportunities, graces, I pray that the God who regulates times and seasons, let that season come back to your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every lecturer in this place or those who your parents are lecturers stand for them, I want to speak. There are lecturers whose promotions are overdue. Is that true? Is that true? In the name that is above all names, this night we command. Even offices that are not available, we create it for them this night. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. The king sent for Joseph. Tonight, I connect you with supernatural destiny helpers that will take you from where you are to the next level. I connect you. I call for the helpers of your destiny. Financial helpers. Marital helpers. Career helpers. Spiritual helpers. Receive their ministry in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray any project anyone is doing here, whether you are your whether building project, whatever it is, for you and for your families, you are building a three-bedroom flat that's taking over 10 years. This is a curse. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be supernatural supplies. The beds that brought food for the prophet. I command may they locate your family i open up the heavens over your family in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah one of the things god is doing in this season is preparing people for dimensions of prosperity that will scare people. Hallelujah. God is seriously looking for men who he will trust. These men will not just get well, they will be trained. The first thing you need is the staying grace. The school is not easy, let me tell you the truth. But happy are you when you pass through it because you will command well that will make you afraid. I pray for you. Every curse of poverty and lack. There are some of you who are kingdom financiers. The power of God will come upon you. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Now I pray for everyone. This curse of poverty that is upon many lives and families that has closed the heaven over many people in the name of the Lord Jesus this night by the sure mercies of the God of David I command your heavens to be open I command your financial heavens be open be open be open be open be open be open that bring prosperity favor and wisdom hallelujah money comes through favor it is preserved through wisdom the bible says through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing i pray 
let your hands receive wealth that only God can give inexplainable but undeniable receive it in the name of Jesus let me tell you brothers it is not by power when it comes to prosperity it is not by might it is by the spirit of God hallelujah two more things and we're up I want to pray for favor this is one of the things we enjoy in abundance hallelujah I cannot tell you how the favor of God works no man can explain it but I know it works I know it works I am a testament if you believe I want you to believe many of you, you you are used to suffering you don't know what the favor of God can do some of our family members what you need is the favor of God Bible says in Isaiah 44 verse 3 said they got not into their land they got not the land by their possessions neither did their arms save them but because you had you showed favor towards them please believe one encounter of favor I tell you it can it can it can keep you in a position for a lifetime believe it there is something called divine favor what you see today is the evidence we have never paid a dime for this venue the last miracle service i still don't know who paid for the venue this is the favor of god i want you to believe it if you want to work for everything in your life get set to die hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you favor for many of you to come on you this is what you need i'm telling you this is what you need families what you need is favor not stories my god my god i pray in the name of jesus the favor that is upon koinonia i take it and i release it to your life take it now take it now take it now take it now, take it now. i activate favor 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 with God favor with man favor receive it favor Koinonia is called the place of intimacy and partnership with the Holy Spirit hallelujah you cannot come here tonight and not be on fire for God you cannot be here tonight and not be on fire for the things of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah i want to release grace that your spiritual life will stand strong and solid many of you your prayer altars are dead it's not because you don't love god hallelujah many of you one leg in one leg out last year you were on fire this year hallelujah many of our mothers fathers people at home our prayer life our word life we're looking for things that only the word of god can give us but jesus said to martha i said one thing is needful one thing one thing i want to pray for you hallelujah alongside with this i want to pray for the distribution of the gifts of the spirit hallelujah Paul said, I long to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. A powerless Christianity, and I'm not talking of just falling out. Christianity with results. Christianity with proofs. We have too many talkatives in the body of Christ. Inside or outside. Some of you have been crying and said, Lord, can't my life not have proofs? Can the sick be healed through my hands too? Can I not bless people and it will work for them? Hallelujah.
Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. I consider it to be an all important impartation. Please get ready because it will come upon you. Different kinds of gifts of the spirit. Stirrings of the spirit. At the count of three. I want you to shout Jesus. At the shout of that name. Some of you will. Will be set on fire literally. So that your spiritual life will be hot. So that God will use you and do wonders. Are you ready? Shout it with all your heart at the count of three. One. Two. Three. of grace that God has given me entrepreneurial ideas that will raise financial giants lift your hands everybody in the mighty name of Jesus take it take it take it take it Jesus. take it fruitful life. Amen. May your life be a fruitful life. Amen. May God bring results to your life. Amen. To be a consolation to your Christian work. Amen. Any life that has not been experiencing results that you have never testified, may this be your month. Any life that has not been experiencing results, may this be your month. You believe this hallelujah I want to give you an opportunity inside and outside if you've never given your heart to the Lord please keep standing everybody you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ hear me inside and outside you are hearing my voice right now you have seen the works of the lord it's time for you to get into a real relationship with god or for some of you you have given your heart to the lord hallelujah but you found yourself derailing inside and outside the lord is speaking to you mother father whoever i want you to leave your seat and come out here right now i want to lead you and reconnect you back to the king of kings 
the lover of your life inside and outside right now leave your seat and come koinonia appreciate them as they come everybody thank you thank you they are coming god bless you don't be ashamed don't be afraid god bless you thank you thank you our mother is coming celebrate them koinonia outside don't let the devil stop you mother father whoever yes it's time to surrender surrender appreciate them it doesn't matter what your past is god can give you a new beginning don't allow the person you came with to stop you this is the greatest miracle another jesus keep clapping keep clapping they are still coming the holy ghost is convicting them inside and outside thank you jesus we will connect you to the maker of your life God bless you, brother. And I surrender. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to celebrate you for your bold decision for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People close their eyes when they are about to get born again as if what they are doing is wrong. This is the greatest miracle. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that we celebrate you. Some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Others have given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. I want to pray for you. The Lord loves you and he wants to make meaning out of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I'd like you to say after me and mean it from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I thank you for dying for my sins this night I believe that Jesus is Savior and Lord and I accept him my name is in the book of life I declare that I'm saved the Holy Spirit is in me eternal life is mine from today I denounce sin and Satan and every past life and I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. My sins are washed away. It's a new beginning for me. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your spirit. You brought them to bless. You brought them to reconnect them to the maker of their lives. My God, I pray that their salvation will last. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you do mighty things through their lives. I pray that many destinies will be blessed. The reason and the purpose for which they came to the earth, let it be discovered and maximized. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that every encumbrance, everything that keeps you in the path that is not of God, you are free for me today. There is grace for you. You will enjoy a victorious fellowship with the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We celebrate you. Please, I'd like you to follow the ushers. They'll have your details. And we'll send you a text and get across to you. Pastor Jakes is not around. But we'll send, we'll make arrangements. And I'll be there by God's grace to see you. God bless you. Please, tomorrow, together with them, all those who have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues, six on the dot, please be at the chapel. I will be there to minister to you. Hallelujah. Six on the dot, be at the chapel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up. We are closing. Thank you for waiting this long. All those who are worshiping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we love you and we believe God brought you here to bless you. I'd like you to jump on your feet and rush out here quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. If this is your first time, please, inside and outside, you are special. We have a prayer for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All those who invited them, I pray that every good thing will come into your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Keep clapping. They are still coming.
Thank you. Thank you, Sas. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Thank you. Keep clapping until they come. They are special to us. They are the evidence that God is at work in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.